Thanks as always, Brad. Welcome, studio audience. We do have a remarkable guest on the show today, and I still don't know how my producer pulled this one off, but sitting right next to me is, forgive me, the killer mommy you've heard so much about. Mrs. Sterling, it must be painful to be characterized by such a cruel phrase. Tell us what it's like to be uh, inside this media storm. Well, I'm, I'm living a very quiet life. You're in a, an experimental program, some kind of new medication? Yes, yes. I don't know what your attorney has advised you. Oh, he advised me not to appear. Don't do this! Neil, I think from here on out, I'll handle my own defense. A man is dead? And you're concerned about keeping a mother from her daughter? Where are your values? And where were you at the time of the murder? Let's cut the chit-chat here, lady. You know the law, Lieutenant. But there's been another murder. And we know that you are once again under investigation. That's partly why I'm here. I am absolutely, positively, 100% innocent of that crime. You can see the kind of uh, strong feelings you engender here, and maybe you're not convincing our studio audience, Mr. Strong. There's really only one person I want to convince. I hate me, don't you? No, I don't hate you. You're not my mother. No, but I never tried to kill you either. Well, then help me get my daughter back. We're not supposed to talk. Do you think that should be anyone's decision but ours? Someday I'll get you two back together. Our second guest for today. In fact, you've seen her before on this program. She has her own strong feelings about this subject. Jolene Jones. What, you gonna fry me too? Yeah, shut your sister up. Listen to me, you psycho bitch. Ow! God. Uh, how would you ladies no. feel about repeating this one on camera? You're lucky I'm mellowed out. It takes a special kind of person to take a life. Don't you know the sequel is never as good as the original? 